Wincy Wincy Spider went up the water spot. Hello water spot lovers, I am Nirma. In today's tutorial, we will be painting Peacock Spider. Scientific name is Maritus Speciosus, which is 3 to 4 mm in size. So tiny. Peacock spiders are Australian jumping spiders. They are famous for their bright colors and their elaborate mating dance. I have referred beautiful photo taken by Mr. Jürgen Otto who alone photographed these beautiful peacock spiders courtship display for the first time. My mind plays MJ's smooth criminal song when I see these tiny creatures dancing. You must check out these dancers in the link which is in my description box. Before starting the tutorial, let me tell a short story of mine loving these beautiful creatures. The year 2004 has changed me to a spider lover. My view on these beautiful creatures shifted from ill to wow. To be frank, I was very much scared, but later on, I encountered colorful spiders which made me fall in love with these. It may be their lovely color or size or behavior. That study changed my perspective on these little ones from creepy to lovely. I can speak about spiders hours and hours. So let's grab our colors and paintbrushes. Let's get started. For the materials used, kindly check my description box. Choose your own size to paint. So I have painted black color and now three fourth of the sheet will be left out black and the one fourth that is in the bottom, I'm painting gray. Okay. So I'm taking my flat brush to lighten the down part of the sheet. Black and white will give you gray. Okay. So you can see the three fourth of the above part of the sheet is jet black. And now I'm taking double zero round brush to draw the outline for the spider. I'm drawing a small circle for the head and another one circle for the body. Slowly I am giving the shape for the spider, okay. You can use white color to outline or even you can use tint color to outline, okay. I am drawing the outline for the pale parts of the spider. And I am just outlining the legs. Now the spiders have 8 legs. So in this I am going to do now the uh, 2 legs on either side. Okay, just I am drawing the outline just to get an idea and one more leg on the ear. Okay, here it goes on the other side. Just trying to get an idea. Now here is the outline which I drawn. 
Now I am going to take yellow color for the either side of the abdomen. Now these bright orange hairs along both edges of the abdomen which are only visible during the courtship display okay i am putting a bit of orange as well as yellow So here it goes. Now I'm taking ultramarine blue and just filling it up, filling the abdomen area of the spider. Okay. Try not to mix it up because then you will get a green color. So if that happens just wait for a while let it get dry and again you can come back and put the color. Now I have taken orange plus red plus black mix of all these colors for the head, head area okay i'm just filling up the head area with orange red and a little bit of black so that's how i got this color next i'm going to put a burgundy color I have got this color by mixing brown and a little bit of black okay so the description to get these colors I will be putting up in description box So here and there I am just putting that burgundy color or the darker version of brown color even on the legs. I have taken a white color to put it on to the pedi parts of spider and then to the legs okay there it goes the legs of spider a feathery touch you have to paint the hairs for spiders lightly gently on the paper now I have taken the red color to draw the markings on the abdomen they have this beautiful markings on the abdomen it is shown during the courtship display very well I'm just outlining the shape 
with the red color. Two circles in the mid. It looks generally like a mad space for me. I really wonder what do the female spiders see. See, now here it is. So I'm drawing the eye with the black color. Now the spiders have got eight eyes. Okay, eight eyes. So here is the first eye, second eye. Okay. Then I'm taking a bit of black color and Again, one more eye. Okay, one more eye. Totally six eyes I have placed. The other two eyes are not visible. So here is the positions which I have placed for the eyes. I've taken a bit of white color and I'm just drawing the highlight for the eyes. And also I'm taking a white color surrounding this orange hairs. I am drawing the hairs which is in white color same like a feathery touch flip it up flip it up flip it up flip it up yes now it's getting a shape you can say don't worry you can do it if you have come this much, your 60% of the work is done. As I usually say that, you know, initial stages will look so ugly. But what you have to do is that you have to just move on. You have to trust yourself, be confident and just move on. And later the painting will come into light no matter what just go on see now you can see that the legs of spider is getting into shape right a little bit of black here and there okay So I'm drawing the shadows of the legs, okay, so that it will give the 3D effect. Can you feel that, right? There it is. That's why I have put this grey colour for the sheet on the bottom so that we get that effect. So 
as this is a tiny painting it's quite difficult to paint surrounding the eye I am just trying to lighten it up as well as I am trying to give shape to the head I am taking now pearl blue acrylic color okay just putting it here and there look at that And also I'm taking ultramarine blue So I'm mixing both ultramarine blue and pearl blue acrylics. Okay. Now for the center, I'm going to put purplish violet color here. Okay. A little bit to the sides of the pattern okay here and there yes Now I'm taking pearl blue again until I get a desired output. I'll be playing with the colors. So here it goes. Now I'm going to shape the head area. A little bit okay I've taken a bit of tint and a bit of white also I am trying to lighten the areas around the eyes this is quite difficult but not impossible okay you can do it if you get a really a very good fine liner brush it's really good otherwise you can use double zero brush okay the more thinner the brush it will be easier to paint around the eyes 
so I had a bit of struggle but it's all okay again I'm just filling up the eye with the black as I'm not satisfied yes so here it goes I'm just giving the shape for the head again a bit of highlight here and there a bit of black on the top of the head that happens no need to worry I have taken I have sucked up the color with the help of the brush itself so that's all okay I'm just putting a highlight for the eyes now all good I'm putting red for the pattern on the abdomen. I've taken the fluorescent orange to give highlights for the patterns. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Cool. Isn't it cool? Again, a little bit of ultramarine blue around the red patterns. Okay. Here it goes. Our little spider is getting ready. There we go. Until, as I said that, until I will be satisfied, I will be just playing around these colors. I like thick paints. So this is kind of a uh, thick paint painting. I'm satisfied with my painting. Here our little sweet little dancer is ready. Hooray! We did it! We did it! And look at that! Look at that! Oh! Such a cute cute spidey! Ah! This is the bad habit which I am having after signing. I 
again I'll go back and do some coloring to the painting. <laughs> Always happens. Hope you have enjoyed this painting. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification. Don't forget to follow and like on Instagram and Facebook to see my other paintings. Art hugs and peace. Namaste. Thank you.